Hey everyone, welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review video. Today guys, I have set um, 40539, the Ahsoka Tano Brickhead, which released on, um, which released January 1st of 2022 and retires, and is retiring this year, December 31st of 2023. So this set had a lifespan of two years on the shelf which that is like the average of like a star wars sets like having a lifespan two years so yeah i would definitely like for a brickhead let's we'll just get into the review of the set there is no minifigures guys either it has 164 pieces no minifigures retails for nine dollars us or not ten dollars usd or thirteen dollars canadian and it is a lego store exclusive actually so you can only get this on lego.com or at lego stores let's get into the review here so starting off we've got the base which is the same base as all the other brickheads and it's just you can unattach the brickhead if you want really easily but i don't really know how you would so yeah just put him right there and getting to the detail like the back doesn't really have too much but the legs don't really have too much either but then we've got but honestly, this is probably the best Star Wars brickhead, I would say, maybe. Yeah. Because, like, this one just captured Ahsoka perfectly. You got all the detail right there. I think the hair looks perfect. The only thing I don't like about the hair, though, is just how these yellow pieces just stick out. I think it looks really weird, but, like, I don't know. I'm not too sure if it's accurate or not. I don't really remember Ahsoka having white, or not white, yellow right there. But yeah, I think the hair looks perfect, and she's got her two lightsabers as well on her hands, which are, her hands are just clips. She's got one backwards, one frontwards, and then her face, once again, I think they captured it perfectly. Nothing really wrong to say. I do really like, but yeah, I do think with the hair, they did a really good job with like the white and blue kind of like pattern, and they're like coming down the front here, and then going up the back, and then kind of like spiking up at the top here i think that looks really 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 good and then also the back and then also at the back having the same pattern where it goes down the bottom and or where it's like down the bottom then using the white and blue pattern to come all the way up to these two spikes here i think it looks phenomenal so that's kind of really it but like also there's is a lot of things you can take off this set if you want like you can take off the lightsabers and the blade and then just have or just have your Soka Brickhead like this. Like I don't really know why you would. Why not just have the lightsabers on? And then also just have her on your base. I don't really know why you wouldn't, but hey. It, it is you. Whatever's you it is you, I guess. So yeah, that's really it for this set. It's not too much. There's like no there's no play features or anything. So, what do I think? I would probably say, honestly, this might be one or one of the best LEGO like, Star Wars brickheads they've made. And, like, you guys, like, and I was saying this about my last review, which was the Grogu set, guys. Like, just it's just like the Grogu, like, for that being a $100 set, guys, you've had way more than enough time to get that. Which, for Grogu, you've had it's $100 set you've had, and you've had just over, and you've had, like... Just over three years to get it. You've had, ju like, just over three years to get Grogu and it's a $100 set. I will admit, this for being only a $10 set on shelves for two years is kind of ridiculous. Like, it's kind of not, it's not as bad as how long the Mandalorian, the child brickheads have been having. Like, that, that's a $25 set now that's been out for three and a half years. Like, that set is just, like, those Mandalorian brickheads better be retiring, dude, because, like, those things have got to go, bro. They've been out longer than the child, and that's a, and those are a twenty five dollar set. So yeah, like the average for a brickhead is like a year. So seeing this brickhead being out now for, or seeing this brickhead lasting two years is, eh, it's a little bit over the limit. But like, I'm not really complaining too much because it's like back in twenty twenty two, I didn't really plan on buying this set. I saw a review for it, and I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up before it retires. So yeah, that's kind of it with this set. So yeah, thanks for watching. Or would I recommend you get this set before it retires? Yes, I would definitely get it right before it retires because it retires in two months, December 2023, the very end. And it's the very end of October now. So 
yes, get this. I would definitely say get this set before it retires. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to give this set a solid 9 out of 10. Just didn't have to have that yellow there.